We have a very specific mime in ballet. It's almost like a language of its, of its own. So I thought maybe we could just learn a little bit. Do you want to learn a bit of ballet mime? Yay! Brilliant. So why don't we, we can join in if we like. Now, mime is, is it's very big because, I mean, you're quite a long way away. The, the, the main stage, there's over 2,000 people. It's huge. So you can't just sort of you know, do little mime. You've got to be really over the top, really grand and very big so everyone can, can understand what you're speaking and what you're saying with, with, your, with your movement. So if I were to say you, I wouldn't say you. I would say you. Do you want to do that? So a nice big gesture. Or if I said me, I might go with both my hands and say me, put both my hands on my chest. Or me, I. What do you think this means? It's not rocket science, is it? Brilliant. <laughs> I see over there. So it's big, OK? Does anyone know what the mime is for dance? Oh, we've got some, some knowledgeable mime artists here. Do you all want to raise your hands above your head, make some beautiful circles with your hands, and then do a big open sort of rainbow shape as you open? That means to dance. So there's a few words. Who thinks they know what this means? Yeah, okay. all right. I'm very convincing. So anyway, I said that when the prince meets this beautiful swan queen at the lake, they have a conversation. So I thought it might be quite nice to learn that little conversation so we know exactly what is going on. So I really need a swan queen and a prince, and it's with uh, great pleasure I'd like to introduce two of the top brightest stars of the Royal Ballet, Marinella Nunez and Tiago Suarez. First of all, it's the prince that sees the Swan Queen, and he speaks first, doesn't he? What does he say, Tiago? Can you show us? You? So he says, you fly away? No. It's a bit like Yoda, isn't it? It's all sort of the wrong way around. Please, don't fly away. You'll be able to guess what this bit means now, I'm sure. <laughs> you here? Why? He says, why are you here? I? I? I'm the queen. queen of the swans. swans. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> so he responds, you are a queen, so I will bow to you. And then we'll, but wait, there's more to the story. So you have to have a look. Over there, there is a lake. Of my mother's tears. <laughs> yeah, a lake made for my mother's tears. Um, and then he wants to give, like, he wants to know what was. So I say, wait, over there, there is one person who is wicked. So wicked, evil person. Who are they talking about? Or who's she talking about? Rothbart. There's a horrible, wicked person over there. That converted me into a, a swan. And then he wants to give it, and I go, but wait. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't finished yet. <laughs> There's more to come. Okay. Yeah. So, wait. There's one person who will love me and sweat forever. I will be this one no more. And that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the mime. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So. So that's the actual, the, the actual actions of the mime, the, 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 the speaking, the gesture. But it's, it's harder than it looks doing mime, because it's not just about doing the right mime. It's actually fitting it into the, to, to how the, 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 the conversation is happening within the music, the conversation is happening within the mime. So if I can ask Marinello and Tiago to demonstrate the mime with the Tchaikovsky score, it will hopefully all make sense. See if you can see what's going on. Hopefully you will understand every single word now. <laughs> <laughs> 